O oh God, this building is a monument of your grace in thus for those who you inspired with this vision and those who helped to bring it about. For the administrators, to you, O oh Lord, we offer our praises for giving us the courage to move in faith and to work hand in hand together in fulfilling the vision of establishing a training school for medical missionaries in this part of the world. For those who have contributed their knowledge and gifts and those who have contributed their sweat and labor, our donors. Congregation. And at this moment, we come together in unison to dedicate this building made of dreams and hopes, laughter and fears. It is a product of our courageous past and our blazing vision for the future of this university. This building is a place of learning, exploration and challenge. A place where you are God shall be recognized in praise through the study of the complex human body. For the teaching of the truth that God is the greatest physician. For preparing missionary doctors who above all will labor for God and point the sick to the only being who can make man whole. God, we do not only dedicate this building to you, but today we dedicate our lives as well. Inspire us by the vision for mission in this place that helped to found this university in this building. Inspire us by your continued presence in our lives and in, in this training hall. Use us to proclaim your holy name and to touch people's lives through our example in faith with the life-giving gospel of Jesus Christ. O oh God, accept our dedication to you today and let your presence abide on this building and to each one of us now and forever. Amen. Just before we go into our prayer, this has been a most wonderful and precious opportunity. And yesterday, I had the opportunity and blessing to be able to speak to the entire church. I want to take just one minute and speak to you, the new class of this College of Medicine, newly founded. As you've heard the experiences and have shared in what everyone has told you, I want you to remember that to become a physician, a blended ministry physician, a physician patterned after the pattern man, Jesus Christ, is the greatest privilege anyone can have. And you're going to deal and see and be part of people's joys, suffering, happiness, and their failures. I'll never forget a patient who was exsanguinating, bleeding to death. And I remembered that she and I, we were living out in a very rural area had the same blood group. And I said to the nurse, take blood and give it. We rushed her to the nearest center where there was a blood transfusion bank. She made it. She came to my office a week later. We looked at each other our eyes filled simultaneously with tears of joy and gladness. She said, thank you for giving your blood to save my life. And I could not let the opportunity to go by but say to her, someone else gave their blood to save your life so that you will live 
forever. That is the physician's privilege, joy, duty, and opportunity. And to that end, we dedicate you, this building, and this College of Medicine to God's service. Let us pray. Our gracious Heavenly Father, it is with joy, with gratitude, with almost the feeling that this is too good to be true. But we know that with you nothing is impossible. And we thank you that we can be part of this great celebration day. We come to dedicate to you and to be dedicated by you and to be dedicated to you. We dedicate this building made of bricks, mortar, electronics, water, plumbing, and many other materials. Father, we thank you for such a beautiful representative building, which is going to be part of the training of not only these 18 lives, but many more to come through until you come. May these halls ring with laughter of joy. May they sometimes be filled with the tears of understanding and sadness at the realization of the depth of the furrow of suffering of this world. May they be filled with the satisfaction that comes from understanding May they be the place that witnesses the growth professionally and personally and very importantly spiritually of each one who passes through these doors on a daily basis. And then Father, we dedicate to you 18 lives 18 temples, 18 buildings which have not been made by human hands, but have been constructed by the miracle of life which you have created. And in these temples, we pray, Father, you will live your life with each one of them being willing to have you use them or not be used at all. We dedicate to you these 18 temples to become the conduits of the grace of Jesus Christ, to be the extension of his healing ministry, to reveal to a broken world, to broken people, one life at a time, your plan of perfect salvation and eternal life. And so, Father, accept what we bring to you. Each one of us we bring as an offering to be poured out, a drink offering, as it were, for the needs of this world, this part of this world, this division, this territory, this very area. Thanking you that you accept us, not through any value that we have, but purely through the blood and grace and merits of Jesus Christ, in whose name we dedicate these 18 students, this entire faculty, every person in this room, and this entire building, thanking you and praising you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you very much. Now let us proceed to our uh, ribbon cutting. Let us pass this way. So uh, after that, uh, lunch will be served downstairs.
Oh, by the way, there's a, a song uh, from the AUP ambassadors. After their song, we'll proceed uh, for the uh, ribbon cutting. And then uh, while some of us uh, will are having our lunch, for those of you, we would like to invite you all that uh, we're going to have uh, the unveiling of markers because we have the donors uh, here with us and we have the rooms that uh, they have sponsored and we will unveil it this after the ribbon cutting for the building. Thank you very much. Uh, there is an announcement here for those who were uh, uh, mentioned a, a while ago, the names who will lead out in the uh, ribbon cutting. would like to uh, ask you to proceed to the hall there uh, for the ribbon cutting. And they would like to also announce to our faculty of the College of Medicine that you will be having a meeting uh, right here at 104 after lunch. Okay? So the rest of us can go now for the ribbon cutting and we'll have picture taking there. Okay, so thank you. <laughs> 